What is going on guys, it is WrestleGamia here, back with another video. The WWE aims to send its fans home happy, which usually entails having the babyfaces win. Happy kids lead to happy parents and happy customers tend to come back for the next event. But it can't all be sunshine and high fives, good guys need bad guys to overcome and heels are a necessity in the wrestling business. While most WWE game storylines stick you in the role of the protagonist triumphing over dastardly villains and celebrating victory with their belt of choice, that isn't always the case. In fact, sometimes WWE games get downright dark. Like, put down your controller and make sure nobody was watching over your shoulder kinda dark. Join us now's WrestleGamia looks at 7 times you and your character got really dark in a WWE video game. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more wrestling video game content. Number 7. The Game Is On Television Smackdown vs Raw 2011 Few modern wrestlers have embraced being a heel as completely as Chris Jericho. From the man of 1004 holds in WCW to Le Champion in AEW, Jericho soaks up fan hatred like Big Show's singlet soaks up ball sweat. In SmackDown vs Raw 2011's Road to WrestleMania mode, players stepped into Y2J's boots as he tries to unseat a Terminator of a champion in Triple H. And if those odds weren't daunting enough already, Stephanie McMahon, Triple H's real life and on screen wife, is the story's general manager, and she's not too thrilled with your actions. How do you overcome all this? Well, by taking cheap shots and cheating like hell, of course. First, the player literally steals the WWE title from Triple H, because if you can't win something, you take it. While it leads to some quality time with Y2J and 10 pounds of gold, it could be said that this move just further pisses off the game. Later, you have him as a guest on the highlight reel, mere moments before he's scheduled for a title rematch against you, where he'll lose the championship if DQ'd or counted out. Jericho has to do something scheming to escape with the title. Echoing the WWE programming storyline Jericho had with Shawn Michaels in the summer of 2008, you'll be putting Triple H's head through the sleek modern Geritron 5000 during a brawl. The game is busted open, badly injured and unable to compete in the title match, buying Jericho more time with his beloved championship. Hunter eventually returns to get his revenge. This is Triple H after all. But Y2J's dastardly deed is still worthy of a spot on this list. Number 6. Holla Holla Homicide Smackdown vs Raw 2006 Vehicular combat has been a tradition in pro wrestling, and I'm not just talking about the horrible WWE Crush Hour stinker that THQ put out in 2003. No offense to anyone who enjoyed that game. Some of us are also trying to forget Hulk Hogan vs The Giant in a monster truck sumo match atop a building in the pre-NWO WCW. In 2000, one of the biggest storylines in all of WWE programming was who ran over Stone Cold Steve Austin with a car. The SmackDown vs Raw 2006 big storyline had a much better, more shocking climax. General Manager Teddy Long found himself cracked and discarded like a peanut shell after being creamed by a speeding white sedan. Everyone on SmackDown, from Cena to RVD to JBL, is trying to figure out who did it, your chosen superstar included. Accusations are thrown around, leading to fists being thrown around, but every lead comes up empty. Six months later, and you're in the middle of an important promo announcing your WrestleMania plans. Who should show up with the same swagger and same grey suit as always, but Theodore Long. He says after being struck, he held on to consciousness long enough to lay eyes on the driver. And spoiler alert, it was you. You and your superstar could try to deny it, claiming Teddy was hallucinating some fever dream while he was convalescing in the hospital, but instead you cop to it immediately, high on your recent success, and confident that your Royal Rumble win entitles you to a championship match of your choosing, regardless of how many senior citizens you mowed down in the previous fiscal year. But this one was your boss, and he vows to make your life miserable enough that you didn't even reach WrestleMania. And he deserves that vengeance, you disgraceful bastard. Number 5. Cringe Stratus Smackdown vs Raw Smackdown vs Raw represented an exciting new chapter in WWE games, but it still treated fans a bit like idiots, at least in one particular storyline in its varied season mode. Your selected superstar, whether created from scratch or picked from the roster, can end up dating Hall of Fame diva and stone-cold fox Trish Stratus. 
So far so good right? Well there are two problems. First, she's on the opposite brand than you are. Second, other superstars like Big Show and Cena want a piece of the satisfaction for their own and they aren't embarrassed to say it. But we are embarrassed to hear it. Ever the opportunist and pervert, Vince McMahon resolves to settle both issues at WrestleMania in a six-man tornado ladder match. But what to suspend above the ring? Why Trish's stolen panties of course. That's quite an on-brand decision for a man who once forced Trish to bark like a dog on Raw in 2001. This story was equally distasteful and doesn't just make Vince look bad. Be the one to snag those unmentionables from their perch and you're treated to a cutscene involving you, Trish, a blindfold, some candles and low polygon PS2 sexy time. Imagine your roommate, or worse yet your mom walking in to see The Undertaker and Stratus passing the chewing gum. Darkness like that takes a long time to live down. Number 4. Cowboy Car Bump Smackdown vs Raw 2010 Randy Orton is one devious viper. If a WWE personality has a head, chances are Randy has punted it. He told Rey Mysterio that his best friend Eddie Guerrero was in hell less than three months after Latino Heat tragically passed away. The digitalized version of Randy Orton is not much different. While he has spent a significant amount of his career as a babyface, it seems whenever a heel is needed, Randall is the natural choice. But in SmackDown vs Raw 2010's Road to WrestleMania mode, Randy is a selectable superstar. He's also a dirty rotten scoundrel. This was during the legacy period in the age of Orton, with Randy as the focal point of a trio that included second generation wrestlers Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase Jr. Your first rival is The Undertaker and tossing him off the Hell in a Cell is almost worthy of this list on its own. Diamonds may be forever but heel stables usually don't last too long. Dissension between Cody and Ted leads them to squaring off in a match, putting you in the middle as guest referee. But it was all an elaborate clever setup and the junior members of Legacy dissolved the group in startling fashion via a nasty concerto to Orton. Randy is injured and enraged and we all know he's a temperamental guy at the best of times. Enter your father WWE legend Cowboy Bob Orton in his first WWE game appearance. Here he does what any loving father would do, he tries to calm down and reassure his boy as they are exiting the arena together. Look on the bright side says Bob. Look at this hood says Randy as he RKO's his own father on the top of the parked car. Not only that but Randy smack talks his papa afterwards before running over Bob's good arm with a wheeled suitcase as he walks away. This sets off a venomous streak in the legend killer which sees Dusty Rhodes and or the million dollar man getting the crap beaten out them multiple times. That's vintage Orton, but hitting your finisher on your dear old dad? That's dark man, real dark. Number 3. The Wiley Coyote School of Pro Wrestling WWE Raw 2 Long before Jackass featured stuntmen filling limos with bees or shooting firecrackers at their sleeping friends, wrestlers were ribbing one another to keep themselves entertained on the road. 123 Kid had one of his eyebrows shaved before an action figure photo shoot, leaving him no choice but to remove the other one. Sable famously had her purse filled with human excrement after she was deemed a bit egotistical for the locker room's taste. In WWE WWE Raw 2, an exclusive game for the original Xbox, your superstar could play a few pranks of his own. When you weren't competing in the ring, you could choose to complain about a rival, steal objects from their locker or even set up a trap. The setting up a trap consists of a cardboard box or even a touring crate crashing down towards your target's head as your character looks on with a mischievous smile. It may hit, it may miss or it may strike an innocent bystander. Hey this ain't checkers. But even Kurt Hennig or Mr. Fuji wouldn't have approved of what happens a small fraction of the time. Instead of something that only causes mild head trauma, a freaking anvil drops on an unwitting superstar's brain shell. And this definitely hurts him because it literally saps 99 points of spirit from the victim. This leaves them as little more than a walking ghost and it's all because of you, you monster. Number 2. Boogie's Last Dance Smackdown vs Raw 2009 Undertaker has been cheered by amazed fans most of his long and illustrious career, but few will deny he's arguably the darkest character in the WWE's history. The inaugural Road to WrestleMania mode allowed you to control The Undertaker and live his best undead life. 
Capturing the soul of Santino or Finley and turning either of them into a zombie was just an appetizer for what was to come. The Boogeyman then challenged the dead man for supernatural supremacy and he started off strong, stealing the mystical urn and then capturing the unwilling services of Taker's brother Kane. Undertaker isn't one to take this sitting down, well unless he started lying on his back and sat up in dramatic fashion. But on the go home smackdown before Wrestlemania, you smash Boogie's magic staff like a dry twig, rendering him powerless. Then at the showcase of the Immortals in a Hell in a Cell, Undertaker finally puts down Boogeyman, then choke slams him into a casket that a bunch of druids brought to ringside. Then Taker and by proxy you use a bolt of lightning to instantly cremate Boogeyman's remains in front of a live worldwide pay per view audience. The Undertaker was never one to half ass things. Boogeyman certainly died from this. Not only did he never appear in another WWE game until the recent 2K titles, he was quietly future endeavoured by WWE soon after. Damn Undertaker, you sure did him dirty. And number 1, Working Man Slaughter, WrestleMania 19. It could be said that every other victim on this list had it coming. Either they were wrestlers or they were on air talent in a wrestling company, and you know what the risks are when you sign up. Ok, death is not in the terms and conditions, but you get what we mean. So when you pop in the GameCube exclusive WrestleMania 19 and select Revenge Mode, you may assume it's about one wrestler getting payback for something another wrestler did. You know, typical wrestler stuff. Well, that couldn't be further from the truth. Let's say you choose Batista, you know, Drax the Destroyer. He is large muscled and generally angry, and if you saw him pruning hedges down the street, you'd piss in your jeans and you'd pick him for revenge mode. But he's not just going after Booker, he's going after Builder? Wait, who? What? Security officer isn't some gimmick name. It's a college dropout from Cleveland making $45,000 a year who has a wife and two daughters, and you're treating them like ants at a picnic. You're not even trying to pin this assembly line of worker stiffs. No, you're tossing them through windows, pushing them into traffic, and chucking them off the sides of tall buildings to their elimination, which we all know is just a friendly way of saying they're dead. Yeah, you killed them by the dozens, and that's as dark as it gets. But there you have it guys, 7 times you got really dark in WWE video games. Are there any more dark moments from WWE video games apart from those endings from Wrestlemania? Yeah, we're gonna cover that in a separate video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling video game content.